Welcome to ReneeEnergy.com on YouTube, the hub for all things renewable energy and sustainability. Our channel is dedicated to bringing you the latest innovations and insights in green energy, including cutting-edge developments like green hydrogen. Whether you're a sustainability veteran or just beginning your journey, we have something for everyone. Join us on this channel to explore inspiring projects for a sustainable tomorrow. We bring you the latest in renewable energy, sustainability, and cutting-edge technologies. And don't forget, for more in-depth information and resources, visit our website and subscribe to our newsletter for the latest updates and exclusive content. The production of ammonia, primarily used in fertilizers, has long been one of the most energy-intensive processes in the industrial world. The ammonia synthesis process, commonly known as the Haber-Bosch process, has been the dominant method for producing ammonia for over a century. While revolutionary in its time, this process is heavily reliant on fossil fuels, specifically, natural gas, which contributes significantly to global carbon emissions. In fact, the production of ammonia through the Haber-Bosch process is responsible for nearly 1.8% of global CO2 emissions, making it a considerable contributor to climate change, especially within the agricultural sector. Ammonia is essential for producing the fertilizers that help feed the world's growing population. However, this comes at a steep environmental cost. The traditional process used to produce ammonia requires both extreme heat and pressure, consuming vast amounts of energy in the process. Each ton of ammonia produced generates approximately 1.8 tons of CO2, a staggering figure considering the demand for ammonia globally. Moreover, ammonia production accounts for about 2% of the world's total energy consumption, highlighting just how inefficient and unsustainable this process is when viewed through the lens of modern environmental challenges. In recent years, the focus has shifted toward finding greener and more sustainable alternatives to traditional ammonia production. Enter green hydrogen and green ammonia. Green hydrogen, unlike its fossil fuel-derived counterpart, is produced using electrolysis, a process that splits water into hydrogen and oxygen using renewable energy sources such as wind, solar, or hydropower. This hydrogen can then be combined with nitrogen to produce green ammonia, creating a cleaner, carbon-neutral alternative to traditional ammonia production. The use of green hydrogen to produce green ammonia represents a significant breakthrough in reducing the environmental impact of fertilizer production. By replacing natural gas with green hydrogen, the carbon footprint of ammonia production can be drastically reduced, offering a path toward a more sustainable and climate-friendly agricultural industry. Furthermore, the energy required to power the electrolysis process comes from renewable sources, meaning the entire cycle of green ammonia production can be nearly carbon-free. The shift to green ammonia production addresses two key issues, carbon emissions and energy inefficiency. By eliminating the reliance on fossil fuels, the fertilizer industry can drastically cut its CO2 emissions, aligning more closely with global efforts to combat climate change. Additionally, because the hydrogen used in green ammonia production is derived from renewable sources, the process becomes sustainable, ensuring that the growing demand for fertilizers can be met without exacerbating the environmental damage caused by traditional methods. Moreover, green ammonia is not just a cleaner alternative for producing fertilizers, it also has the potential to revolutionize other sectors. For instance, green ammonia could be used as a carbon-free fuel for powering industrial machinery or even vehicles, contributing further to the decarbonization of other energy-intensive industries. Some forward-thinking companies are even exploring the possibility of using green ammonia as a storage medium for excess renewable energy. In such systems, renewable electricity is used to produce green ammonia, which can then be stored and later converted back into electricity when needed. This could make green ammonia a vital component in future energy storage systems, helping to stabilize grids powered by intermittent renewable sources like wind and solar. Several leading companies and organizations are already making strides toward scaling up green ammonia production. For example, Yar International, one of the largest fertilizer producers in the world, is pioneering efforts to develop green ammonia production plants. In collaboration with Siemens, Yara is working on replacing natural gas with renewable electricity to power ammonia synthesis. This partnership aims to decarbonize Yara's ammonia production and significantly reduce the carbon footprint of its fertilizers. Similarly, Iberdrola, a global leader in renewable energy, is developing a massive green hydrogen plant in Spain. This facility will produce green hydrogen via electrolysis, which will then be used to create green ammonia for the fertilizer industry. The project is part of Iberdrola's broader strategy to integrate renewable energy into various industrial processes, including ammonia production. CF Industries, another major player in the fertilizer industry, 
has also announced plans to build a green ammonia production facility in the United States, focusing on reducing the carbon footprint of its products by leveraging green hydrogen. Despite the promising developments in green ammonia production, there are still significant challenges that need to be overcome. One of the most pressing issues is the cost of producing green hydrogen. While renewable energy prices have fallen dramatically in recent years, the electrolysis process used to produce green hydrogen is still more expensive than the natural gas-based methods currently used. This cost disparity makes green ammonia less economically viable in the short term, particularly in markets where natural gas is abundant and cheap. However, experts predict that as electrolysis technology becomes more efficient and scalable, and as the cost of renewable energy continues to drop, the price of green hydrogen will become more competitive. This, in turn, will drive down the cost of green ammonia, making it a more attractive option for the fertilizer industry. Another challenge lies in scalability. Transitioning from conventional ammonia production to green ammonia requires significant investments in new infrastructure, including electrolysis plants and renewable energy sources. The scale of investment required to build green ammonia plants that can meet global demand is immense, and will likely require the support of both private and public sector stakeholders. Governments and international organizations will need to play a key role in incentivizing the development of green ammonia infrastructure, whether through subsidies, grants, or regulatory frameworks that encourage low-carbon technologies. Despite these challenges, the future outlook for green ammonia remains promising. As industries and governments around the world work toward net-zero emissions targets, the fertilizer industry will need to adopt cleaner production methods to stay in line with these goals. Green ammonia presents a viable solution, offering a way to meet the world's growing demand for fertilizers while minimizing the environmental impact of ammonia production. Furthermore, as investment in green hydrogen and ammonia technologies continues to grow, we are likely to see further innovation and cost reductions, making green ammonia an increasingly attractive option for the agricultural sector. In conclusion, green ammonia offers a critical solution to the fertilizer industry's significant energy and carbon problems. By harnessing green hydrogen produced from renewable energy sources, the fertilizer industry can move toward a sustainable, carbon-neutral future. Although there are challenges to overcome, particularly in terms of cost and scalability, the potential environmental benefits of green ammonia are enormous. As companies like Yara, Iberdrola, and CF Industries continue to lead the way in green ammonia production, we are likely to see a rapid expansion of this technology in the coming years, with green ammonia playing a pivotal role in the decarbonization of both agriculture and other energy-intensive industries. With the right investments and technological advancements, green ammonia could be a key driver in the global transition toward a cleaner, more sustainable future. Thanks for tuning into the ReneeEnergy.com YouTube channel. We trust you found this episode enlightening and motivating. There's a world of innovation and opportunity in sustainable energy, and we're delighted to share this journey with you. Stay in the loop with the latest on renewable energy and sustainability by visiting our website and subscribing to our newsletter. Your support is immensely appreciated, it's truly invaluable to us. Don't miss our next video on new trends in renewable energy. Follow us on social media for the latest updates. Enjoyed the video? Like, subscribe, and share for more green insights. Thanks for watching.